Many individuals wish to keep wild and exotic animals as pets, and some of these wishers have come true despite all odds. Sometimes everything works out perfectly, but other times the relationship between man and animal goes tragically wrong, to the point where these animal companions turn around and kill or consume their masters. People who are cautious enough to keep only domestic animals close by, on the other hand, face the same fate. Here are five instances in which animals attack their owners to death. Andrew Lumboga was killed and eaten by his own dogs. Andrew Lumboga, an Indonesian, went on vacation after leaving seven canines without food or water for two weeks. As soon as he returned, the starving dogs pounced on him, killed him, and ate him. His death would not have been discovered if it hadn't been for a nosy neighborhood guard who noticed abandoned luggage stacked up in front of his house but saw no sign of the man. The terrible odor emitting from the residence caused the guard to notify the police when he approached it. The skull of the deceased guy was discovered in the kitchen, and his body was discovered in front of his residence. The assailants were seven dogs in total, and they had killed and devoured two other dogs during his absence of two weeks. Lumboga comes from the northern Indonesian island of Sulawesi, where the typical cuisine includes dogs. Michael Prasik was mauled to death by his lion. In the Czech Republic, a guy named Michael Prasik maintained a lion and a lioness for breeding in his backyard. The pets were housed in makeshift enclosures. Local residents and officials had expressed concern about his unusual choice of pets, but no one was ready to go out of their way to stop him, perhaps due to fear of his wild animal companions. Prasik was denied planning permission to construct the enclosures in which he housed the animals and was penalized for illegal breeding. His dispute with officials, however, came to a halt when he refused to allow anyone onto his property. Michael Prasik was eventually mauled to death by the lion, prompting officials to shoot both wild creatures. Oregon farmer was eaten by his hogs. Terry Vance is an actor. Garner was a farmer in Coos County, Oregon, near the seashore. He went out to feed his pigs one fateful day and never returned. Several hours later, a family member discovered Garner's dentures and body parts in the hog cage. By the time he was located, the hogs had devoured the majority of his remains. Garner was a Vietnam War veteran suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder, and living on the farm was the best cure for his ailment. He was committed to his farm's animals, breeding a variety of species, including birds. In an ironic twist, Garner may have inadvertently aided his own demise at the hands of his animals. A year before he was mauled to death by hogs, a large sow bit him for accidentally stepping on a piglet. He initially made the decision to kill the sow, but later changed his mind and let the sow live. At last, he would die at the hands of the animals he had so much compassion for. Cynthia Lee Gamble mauled by her own tiger. Cynthia Lee Gamble of Danforth Township in Pine County, Minnesota was a wildlife enthusiast. She worked on television and feature films as well as editing and writing wildlife documentaries. She was responsible for raising, training, and filming wolves, wolverines, coyotes, and foxes. Cynthia appeared to be particularly fond of tigers. She had maintained tigers on her property for at least a decade before her death, and they had never caused her any difficulties. Even Cynthia's experience with keeping wild cats could not keep her safe and alive. On the terrible day of her death, she was cleaning a Bengal tiger's cage when she unintentionally left one of the dropped doors open, exposing herself to a behind-the-back attack. The tiger pounced on the opportunity and mauled her to death. Alabelle mauled to death by pet lion. As with the last entry, Alabelle died as a result of forgetfulness while cleaning a wild animal's cage. Alabelle enjoyed cleaning the cage of his pet lion, but he had never done so alone. Alabelle was alone at his Illinois farm on that fatal day and he transferred the pet lion from the main cage to the shift pen so he could clean the main enclosure. Unfortunately, while cleaning, he left the gate between the main cage and the shift pen open. The lion charged at the man and mauled him to death. Surprisingly, Alabelle and his wife had both raised Simba, a five-year-old African Barbary lion. Kathy Abel left the house to perform some errands on the day of the incident. Alabelle was nowhere to be found when she returned. She also observed that the lion was pacing around outside its prison, agitated while the remaining wild animals on the farm were terrified and anxious. She contacted the sheriff, because the scene in front of her eyes horrified her. When police came on the scene, they had to shoot and kill Simba to keep it from fleeing and wreaking mayhem.